morning children today we are starting our third chapter that is coordinate geometry do you know what is coordinate geometry coordinate geometry means it is branch of geometry where the position of the points on the plane is defined with the help of ordered pairs also known as ordered pairs is also called coordinates okay and uh, in the first chapter number system you already studied what is number line what is a number line in the number line there will be a origin and some positive value positive values and negative values will be the on the right side of zero we will mark the positive values and left side of zero all the negative values okay it is a number line and here every intervals each intervals are keeping equal distance and that distance we will call unit distance they are keeping unit distance and in every case these distances are same okay and for this we need two such lines two lines means one will be horizontal and one will be vertical line and we can name that horizontal line and vertical lines are x x dash and y y dash horizontal lines means they will be perpendicular to each other perpendicular to each other means they are intersecting at their origin this will be the origin of origin of this will be the origin of xx dash and yy dash and xx dash means it is the horizontal line so it is x x dash and it is y y dash and it is the origin of both the lines and here in the ox ox is the positive direction and here here oy is the positive direction so positive 1 positive 2 positive 3 positive 4 like that and here oy dash is the negative direction negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 negative four and this y y dash is called the y axis and x x dash is called the x axis and here ox is the positive direction of x axis and oy is the positive direction of y axis o x x dash is the negative direction of x axis and o y dash is the negative direction of y axis okay so i think the, you already know this uh, axis x axis and y axis and here this axis x axis and y axis 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 means the plural form of axis this axis divide the plane into four parts 1 2 3 4 these four parts are called four quadrants that quadrants also you already know then it is the first quadrant first quadrant and second quadrant this is the second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant in the first quadrant x coordinates and y coordinates are positive and in second quadrant y coordinates are positive and x coordinates are negative and in third quadrant x coordinates and y coordinates are negative and in fourth quadrant x coordinates are positive and y coordinates are negative okay that's that's about quadrant then next this one this uh, vertical 
vertical and horizontal line this plane is called a cartesian plane so cartesian plane means there will be two perpendicular line the horizontal axis is called x axis and the vertical axis is called y axis this is a cartesian plane okay and the next suppose we have a card x axis and y axis it is the origin it is y y dash x x dash it is the positive direction so we can mark the positive values negative suppose i am taking a point here a point p here suppose this point is p and another point q this point q and we need to write the coordinates of this p and q okay first we need to find the distance between the xy and the point p how can we find the distance between the point p and y axis that means it is the perpendicular distance it is the perpendicular distance between y axis and p and this distance we can measure along the x axis that means from x axis it is so the distance between x y axis and p is measure measures along the x axis that means the distance between this point p and y axis is 3 so we can say that the x coordinates x coordinates of the point p is 3 x coordinate of p is 3 and next the distance between x axis and y sorry x axis and the point p that distance we can measure along the y axis that is the distance between x axis and the point p is 4 unit okay so we can say that the y coordinate is 4 y coordinate of p is 4 okay that is the coordinates of p x coordinate is 3 and y coordinate is 3 4 therefore the point p the coordinates of point p is 3 4 this is called the ordered pairs ordered pairs means they are keeping some order this 3 4 is not equal to 4 3 because 3 4 means it is the x coordinates and 4 is the y coordinates 4 3 means 4 is the x coordinates and 3 is the y coordinates it is not equal okay so 3 4 is not equal to 4 3 so that is the x code that is the coordinates of p point p and here we have another point q here also we need to draw perpendicular lines like this here we need to write the x coordinates and y coordinates of q and the distance between the line x dash 
the axis x dash and the q is measured along the y axis that is the y coordinates of the point q is 2 and x coordinates x coordinates mean it is the negative direction so we need to take negative 2 and negative 4 y coordinate is negative 4 2 and x coordinate is negative 4 so point q the x coordinates x coordinates it is on the negative direction so negative 4 y coordinates y coordinate is negative 2 therefore the coordinates of the point q is negative 4 neg and negative 2 these are the coordinates of point q and point p the coordinates of point p is 3 4 Okay, I think it is clear. We already know how to uh, how to plot the points on a Cartesian plane. And this coordinate, x coordinate is also called abscissa ah, and y coordinate is also known as ordinates. Next, we can take another uh, another graph. It is the origin O x positive direction, O x dash the negative direction, y y dash. Then here the positive values and we are taking another some other points that is I have taken a point A it is point A and here point B. It is point B and we need to write the coordinates of B and A. It means X coordinates we can, uh, X coordinate means abscissa and Y coordinate means ordinates. Okay. Then we need to write the coordinates. Coordinates means x, coordin x coordinates and y coordinates. We can say coordinates of the points. Okay. And x coordinate means abscissa. And y coordinate is ordinates. Okay. And here what will be the coordinate? The coordinates points, uh, coordinate points of point B. Here we can draw the perpendicular lines. Okay, then the coordinates of B is on the x-axis it is 1, 2, 3, negative 3 and in the y-axis it is 1, 2. So, coordinates of the point B is negative 3, 2. Okay, it is the second quadrant therefore x coordinate will be negative and y coordinate positive negative 3 2 and here a coordinates of point a here also we can draw the perpendicular lines here x coordinates is 3 and y coordinate that also so the coordinates of B point B is negative 3 and 2 and here it is 3 3 positive 3 it is in the first quadrant therefore x values x coordinates and y coordinates will be positive 
okay i think it is clear nothing just plotting the points on the graph and in the next class we can discuss how to plot the points on a cartesian plane that's all for today thank you